Hi everyone, hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I had been planning to put out more videos over that time. However, I had a mixer fail on me. So you may notice I'm using a different microphone today and uh, we'll see how that goes. If it sounds good and there's no problems, I'll continue to use it, uh, otherwise I may have to replace the mixer. But for now, let's just see how it goes. So today we're going to be having a look at Script Inspector 3. So what is Script Inspector? Well, you know when you're opening a C-sharp script or any uh, text files or anything like that in Unity, and it'll open in an external program like MonoDevelop or Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code if you have those installed. Those are all great, but wouldn't it be even better if you could open your scripts within Unity itself? Like I remember coming up to this window menu when I first started using Unity and wondering where the code editor was. It seemed almost ridiculous that it wasn't included in the core package of Unity. So if you, like me, have felt this void, then Script Inspector 3 may be your answer. Okay, so I've imported the package, you'll see it's added itself in the plugins folder. And there's really no point going through any of this uh, because you don't really need to deal with the code at all. What I will do before running it though is come up to Unity, Preferences, come down to the uh, Script Inspector tab, and I'm going to tick on Always Open in Script Inspector. It doesn't stop you from opening it in external programs, but uh, this is just a shortcut. And one thing I'll also do is come over to the Editor tab, turn off Compile on Save. Not a big thing, but I find it very annoying in large projects when every time you want to do a save, it'll then compile the project. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look at how it works. So if I create a new script, C sharp script, I just call it test. You'll notice straight over here in the inspector, we actually have an editable window where we can go ahead and make changes to the code. Okay, so I've just typed in some code, I can now hit save, and uh, that's that code updated in my scripts. And if I want to recompile the project, I can hit save again, and then that will recompile the project. It should be noted that Script Inspector does not override uh, your standard shortcuts, so uh, when you're in the Script Inspector window, if you hit um, Command or Control S, it's going to continue to save the scene rather than what's in this window, so you have to use these controls. And the same goes for undo redo. Okay, but you can do more than just edit the files in the inspector. You can double click on the file, open it out in its own window, and then drag it to dock it to a window in your scene. So that frees up your inspector to do other things uh, while you're working on your scripts. Another cool thing, if I create another script here, and open it up as well. You can see it's just opened it out in another tab. So I can be working on two scripts, or as many scripts as you want, it'll just keep adding the tabs across here. If you want to work on two scripts at once, you can even just drag this up into a different area. Or even more than two, it doesn't have to be two. Now you can be typing in here, and then come up to this one, type some more code. One thing I also like to do is uh, you can even add a text file and even text files you can edit straight from the inspector. Okay, so as I'm working over here on my scripts I can make notes over here in the inspector and then just save those notes as well. So whenever I click on the notes again, all my notes are there. So the real powerful thing is if you're working on a laptop or a single screen setup, you can have all your code editing within the same Unity window, and it even replaces your um, text editor if you keep a lot of notes as well. Okay, so how stable is it? Uh, I haven't found that the project itself has uh, crashed at all, however um, it's worth noting that if you um, were to save and exit Unity with errors, like say if I was now to um, save and compile this script with this junk in it, it's going to raise an error. Now the next time I uh, exit out of Unity and reopen it, uh, Script Inspector will fail to load uh, simply because I've saved a script with an error in it. 
So depending on your workflow, that may be a problem if you're expecting to open Unity to a lot of errors each time. So maybe if you're in a collaborative environment and you're constantly updating from GitHub or whatever your um, code service is, so you might find a lot of errors. So if you're opening Unity expecting to have problems, then maybe this package is perfect for you. Also, if you're used to working in Visual Studio, you'll probably miss uh, the ability to uh, close and open regions. It's also worth noting that uh, breakpoints aren't a feature yet, so I can't just come in and click a line that I wanted to um, break at when I'm running through the script. But even with those few little problems, this is a pretty solid product. And I find that uh, a lot of the workflows that I'm used to in other programs are easily transferable. So for example, I can start typing awake, you can see uh, straight away it comes up with a um, shortcut for that, so I'll just hit tab, and there we go, it's added in an awake statement for me. If I start typing, say, switch, yep, there's my switch statement. If I start typing case, there's an auto completion for that as well. But all of the workflows that you're used to are, are pretty solid in here haven't been able to fault it too much yet. And same with everything else working in the Unity engine. It's very fast and responsive, like you saw when I opened those scripts. It's very fast and responsive, so when I double click on a script, it's just there. Uh, there's no load time. So if you're a Visual Studio user, uh, that'll be a breath of fresh air for you. It has all the usual tools up here for um, finding the exact method you're looking for. You can also search by regions. There's a bunch of view options over here, so you can turn on word wrap, uh, highlighting, line numbers, track changes. So track changes, you can see over here there's this green area, so that's uh, lines that I've added. If I add more code, uh, then you can see that it's in yellow. And if I hit save, it'll then commit that to green. So those little colors can be quite handy. And uh, if you don't like this uh, standard theme that it starts with, you can change the theme as well. If I come to a color scheme, uh, it also has different font options. A color scheme, uh, and then just choose your favorite color schemes. If you can't find a theme that you'll like, there's this themes folder over here, where you can sort of pick the closest theme, and then come in and set the color codes yourself. There's a lot of customization options as well. Script Inspector 3 has been supported very well over the years. So it originally released in 2012. Its latest update uh, was late November. So that's about a month ago at the point of time of making this video. It is something that you really have to commit to wanting though. Like when you add up what else is out there, uh, Mono Develop free comes with Unity, Visual Studio, free, Visual Studio Code, free, just about all your other options are free, and Script Inspector 3 comes with a $42.90 price tag, uh, which, which isn't comfortable for everyone, because it is a code editor. It doesn't come with any additional features uh, that allow you to make games better, and all the competition is free. So that's where you need, really need to put some forward into whether this is something that's going to be worth it for you. For me personally, I love this product, I use it every day. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So on that small screen, if I'm uh, using Unity out and about, uh, this is the perfect product to go with it. I use Script Inspector 3 in just about all of my projects to do the coding. As mentioned, there are a few quirks to it. Uh, so you will need to decide whether it's something that is going to be essential to your workflow or just a nice to have. So for me it's a very cautious thumbs up. Uh, you will need to assess on your own terms whether this is something that can be useful to you. Uh, for me personally I love it and will continue to use this product. Thank you for watching.